Hi friends, this is Star Thrifter and I have a thrift haul to share with you today, but I thought we would do a chatty thrift haul. A couple other topics, you know, thrown in here or there. Uh, we'll get right on to it. Um, I list everything on eBay and then I list some of the stuff on Poshmark. It just depends. I've been selling for since like 2014, 15, right around there, but it was part-time at the beginning. I just kind of dabbled. And uh, sold a little bit of everything at first, and then I kind of niched to the clothing. Once in a while, I'll list shoes or belts or something like that or a book, but for the most part, it's clothing. We'll get right on to it. Um, one of the topics that I did want to talk about, because I remember this, when I first started uh, reselling um, <clears throat> in the first early parts of it, and when I was selling clothing, there was a lady, and I think I read her blog. I think that's what it was. It wasn't even a, a Facebook page or a YouTube, you know, thing. Um, and she did really great with selling clothing. And I remember at the time, her uh, she was selling like times a day, and that seemed like a lot, you know. And then she was trying to list 10, and then she moved to like 15 or 20 items a day. And I remember at the time thinking, how in the world does somebody list even 10 a day? And then to think 15 or 20, 20 just seemed astronomical. If you're new to reselling, you'll understand. And if you've been reselling for a long time, you'll remember when you first start out, it seems like it takes forever to list um, your items, you know, especially on eBay. There's uh, all those item specifics more now than there used to be. And, um, but it just takes time to do all of it. And you're researching and even doing your photos and everything and measuring and things like that. Uh, but over time, you'll get quicker. And I've said uh, times where maybe I was doing like 10 and I say, okay, well, I'll do five more. And at first that seemed like a lot. But then after you get used to it, it doesn't seem like a lot. Then you can kind of push maybe to the next five. I find it's easier to go five increments than it is to go maybe 10. Um, however, I would like to increase how much I list right now. Um, and it does take more time, but one of my biggest uh, hurdles with it is having enough inventory because even though I pick up bread and butter along with, you know, the higher sell-through rate items and things like that, you still don't want to pick a lot of pick up a bunch of stuff that's just going to sit because it does pull your store down. This here is probably a bread and butter uh, haul. But anyhow, I just thought I'd mention that. Well, I'll start showing some of the pieces. This is an Avenue. And the reason I got this, um, because Avenue is really not that great of a, a reselling brand, even plus size. This is 100% linen. And it's a size 26, 28. That would be like usually around a 3X. Um, but it's a button-up floral tropical 100% linen that's how come I went ahead and picked it up these items I got for a dollar as you'll notice I um this here it looks like another plus size it is it's another plus size this is Kate Hill I only picked this brand up with plus size clothing this is a 3x but it's a false wrap top and what that means is where it's attached but it still looks like a wrap top a true wrap would be where it's not attached and it ties you know and that's the difference in case you didn't know um one of the other topics that i wanted to make mention is i was watching one of the thrift haul uh one of the other resellers I, um, that i watch you know a lot of her things and um she's real popular really big on doing the quick sell through rate However, what I notice is whatever prices she says she's going to get for the stuff, and this would be for more like just the regular stuff, not like some odd, you know, high dollar item. <clears throat> if she says it's 30, she'll list it for 30, I might get 20 or list it for 20 because that's more of the going rate. Or if she says 25, it might be 20 or 15. Do you ever notice that? I was just kind of curious. I'm not saying that she isn't selling it for that price. i just saying that I noticed the difference. Now, there's things to factor with that. How long you want to sit on your items. How long, you know, if you want to send out less um, amount offers or if somebody sends you a less offer, are you going to take that or wait for a higher dollar amount when it's just kind of more of an average kind of piece? Um, another another thing is she was talking about quick sell through rate, and I was kind of curious about some of them. The biggest point that I was making to this topic here is that just 
do your own comps, do your own checking. I do that all the time. And, uh, you know, I try to on uh, all the stuff. And what somebody might be able to get for some items, another person might not. And I've noticed that with brands too. Some people can really sell certain brands, man. They're just going to town selling that and you'll list them and they'll just sit forever. Do you ever have that happen? <laughs> It just it's just how it goes. But I just wanted to make mention of that because like on this last top here, I'll just use it as an example. She might have said, oh, you know, she'll list this for like $29, $30. And I would be listing this for, I would probably start this at around $24, hoping that it would sell for $20 but might have to take 15. You know, it just, there's a, there's just a lot of factors. It's just something to think about. Um, and not to say that, you know, they're, the other resellers aren't getting those prices. And if they're a high volume seller too, they might just be selling more items, you know, because their store is just, you know, generating a lot more sales and maybe they are getting those prices and maybe they can afford to hold out for the higher prices too. But I just wanted to make mention, there's always some variation, but you should be able to get close, you know, um, <clears throat> like I mentioned with that last, you know, top there, I would start at maybe around $24. Really, honestly, it's about probably a $15 top. It'll sell between 15 and 24, somewhere between there. I kind of give a range. This I only picked up because it was new with tags. I don't find that fashion bug sells great plus size clothing. But it's new with tags, and I thought it was cute for summer. And this is 100% rayon, and it's got this embroidered little, you know, flower here. Even though this is new with tags, um, and it's plus size, um, I was just seeing no, no kind of price on there. Um, this is not going to be a fast mover. It's just, it's not. This is just going to be an average piece. It could take a while. It's not going to sell for a lot. But like I said, this haul here um, probably is going to be some of the bread and butter stuff. Maggie Barnes, this is new with tags, and this is a 2X. This is a very pretty uh, top. Another topic that I'll talk about, and I mentioned it with one of them um, yesterday, I think it was the thrift haul video, um, is to use keywords, how important they are. They really are. Um, you know, they probably weren't a long time ago, but they are now. And when I was talking about that one uh, thrifter that I used to follow and I was reading her blog and she used to sell 10 a day. And at that time, that just seemed like a lot. And really now it's not it, but it depends on how much you're selling your items for. Um, things have really changed since then. And I think sales were a lot easier then because they just overall they were things have gotten harder in the resale market and it's because um many things probably one is there's a lot of competition there always has been a lot of competition with clothing but there's even been more lately another and i have to make mention the economy um i was looking at i did month end last night and uh and I was comparing just the last three months to last year's three months. And they're down from last year. They are. Even though I had a really great week. I mean, I mentioned on one of the third top videos on Friday and Saturday, I sold a ton. But if you're doing an overall for the week or overall for the month, some of the days have been slow, you know. But anyhow, but I was still very grateful for the sales that I do get. I do do this full time. I have another business, too, that I do. It's a commercial cleaning business. I've had it for over 30-some years. But I've reduced that down, and I only have a few accounts that I still do. But I count on the income from both. This is a, um, the Maggie Barnes, and this is new at tags. But when we're talking about keywords, this would be a really great one to use uh, the keywords of staple wardrobe, uh, capsule wardrobe, um, office, Office wear, business, career, um, layer. I don't know if it'd be layering, but this would be nice with like a suit, something like that. There was, um, I was going to make mention of something that just, oh, I wanted to make mention of this. This is, I think, on one of my recent thrift haul videos. Um, I had a pair of short, sh they were pretty short on there. They were short all, short talls. Short alls, however you want to pronounce it. They're bib overalls that are shorts. Anyhow, they were called Blue Sp uh, Spice. And that was some really off-brand. And I said, sometimes, you know, they don't move really quickly. But they're supposed to, you know, because everybody mentions it. And the one pair that I picked up were like uh, a junior size. Like a 5'6 or something like that. Or a 7 or a 5 or something like that. They sold. They didn't sell for a lot. 
it was like 11 dollars and some change, but I paid it, I think a dollar for them. I went ahead and sold them because that's a really hard, um, you know, sizing, you know, with it being that junior size. And uh, but I just wanted to make mention of that. This is a really cute top. Now this is a wrap too, but I don't really call consider this a false wrap. I almost consider this like a bottom wrap because it has that, you know, it's wrapped along the bottom. This is um, Ava and Viv 4X. This brand, slowing up on when I how much I pick it up. I think it's a Myers brand, but this is a nice piece. It's a little bit bigger size. I want to make mention about the bigger sizes too. I've heard other thrifters say, oh yeah, you know, the, the bigger sizes really sell, you know, the 4X, 5X. I find they sit and they don't sell for as much money. And I think what it is because, uh, you know, I've been uh, trying to, you know, I was trying to figure it out is because it's not as common. There's more 2X and 3X. I, I think with plus size clothing, those are the two main sizes that are the most popular. When you get to the 4X, 5X, there's, it's not as popular, meaning not as many people are looking for that size. However, there's probably not as much listed. You do have less competition probably, but I just thought I'd mention that because I find that, I, you know, they sell for less. Territory Head. I just listed the pair of shorts yesterday, and uh, these, this is a, um, a large tall and this is a men's shirt. I don't know how great this will do. I think this brand has really slowed down. It used to be a really great brand, but it does still sell. And um, these, like I said, these items I would have got, I got for a dollar. And now, but I may mention, you know, that you don't want to sell, get just anything, even if it's a dollar, if it's not going to sell. But these are items that will be all right, bread and butter items. This is a really pretty dress. It's new with tags, and it's a size 24W. It's this SL fashion, which I wouldn't pick up that brand necessarily. But this is the top part of it. It's black. And then it's a fit flare, but look at the hem. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Uh, keywords that I'd be using for this would be, um, you could probably use prom or homecoming. I don't know. It looks a little bit older though, I think, styling, but really great tea, uh, would be party dress, formal, maybe wedding because they could attend a wedding or, you know, I don't know. I don't really like uh, black for bridesmaids, but it is really pretty and elegant looking, but maybe, as some people do, and um, it probably doesn't really matter. Years ago, they used to, um, women used to get married with a black dress on or just a plain you know regular street dress that they had like the 30s and the 40s year you know sometimes but anyhow it's just how things change but party dress um i like to put garden party but this is a little bit f more formal it actually has a little bit of taffeta i think under it's got a little bit of a crinlin line and it feels like a um it's got some taffeta to it and i'll make mention of that the taffeta but this dress is beautiful. I really like this dress. It doesn't have how much it was new. It's just called the Itsy Short Sleeve Drape NK Party Party Coin. 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 <laughs> Those are coins. Coin um A P P L Q skirt. But anyways, yeah, I guess they would consider that like a coin. But anyhow, isn't that pretty? I just think that feminine that would be another great keyword to use for that. I love that dress. <laughs> If, I, if it was my size and I had somewhere to wear it, that'd be great. Um, that's just a piece there. I thought about keeping um, this. I don't know how this would do. This is swimsuits for all, and I already think I have another beach cover-up for it. But this actually is a maxi dress, and it's an 1820. It might do all right. Beachy beach cover-up, because it is, you know, it is a maxi, and... Uh, it's just, you know, a maxi. It looks like it's got like a high, a little bit of a high-low hem on it. Um, but anyways, vacation, summer, beach, beachy, uh, beach cover-up. Um, you know, I don't know about minimalist because it is just a solid color. But those are just some kind of, maybe boho, I'm not sure, you know, because it's just, I don't know. Um, this is another new with tags, and this is an Ashley Stewart 24W. 
and it was $39 originally, and then they had it on sale for $34.99. That's telling you right there that this is not an expensive dress line. This is a very inexpensive dress. And if uh, selling this online, you'd be probably fortunate because there'll be other sellers probably selling it for $19 new. But that, you know, just to give you an idea, I will probably try to list it for around $29. Start there. It's a really cute sheath dress. However, um... I just, you know, just letting you know that sometimes, a lot of times, you know, it sells for less. You may wonder how come I don't move the camera to where I have more room to show the clothing. It's because this area here is quite short this way of where I can do this. And I, I can't move it any farther to make the difference. Eventually, I eventually want to redo my garage and then um, put it the upper portion on it and then had that area for like uh, doing all the eBay stuff, the shipping and the photographing and the videos and, uh, you know, and the measure, just everything. And then keep the inventory downstairs. I don't know how great seven of all mankind is doing anymore for jeans. Um, I think the men's are doing all right, but these are women's and these are, these are distressed, but they're, they have, they're, the reason I picked them up, because I mentioned yesterday with the third tall video that my friend was telling me that holes and distress aren't popular according to her teenage and, and young adult um, girls. But these, it's like patchwork. And I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I'll have to do comps on this. It kind of looks like a small size though. And um, real quick, if I could see the size here. Oh, <laughs> They're super small. I should have left these, even though they are kind of neat looking. They're a size 25. 25 is super duper little. <laughs> wow. Um, I take a small size, but way above that. I've been actually moving up a couple of sizes lately. Just, I want jeans that are more comfortable. I happen to be old, you know, and uh, I like things that are more comfortable now. And I didn't know if I would get, you know, get to that point with fashion. I still have some things that I will wear that aren't super comfortable because I really like them, but I've gotten to that point where the comfort wins out over some of the fashion. Um, this is um, J. Jill denim and they're a size four. I picked them up because I did sell a piece not really long time ago and I think they were cropped. Um, <clears throat> they might've been green or brown pants. These are more like a these are like an ankle pant, but that's kind of a small size. Actually, you know what? These are really close to my size. I might consider keeping them if the comps aren't really great on it because they, they are a cute pair of ankle or crop pants. Some people... Now, from my understanding when I Google it, ankle, you know, is obviously at the ankle. But I had a hard time knowing the difference between crop and capri. Now, according to what I can figure on Google, is cropped is where it's closer to the ankle. It's below the knee still, but it's it's up from an ankle style, but, you know, it's still got some length there. The capris were the shorter ones, almost like long shorts. That was from my understanding. I don't know. Google it. See what you think. You can let me know. Um, these are a pair I picked up for myself. Like I said, I've been uh, picking up some pants um, for myself that fits. I've been doing pretty decent with Talbot's pants lately, plus size. I don't know about the small sizes. These are really great shape. I mean, really good shape. They're real dark. They're called a 10 crop flare um, jean. And with them being a flare, that will be great. I don't know how great the crop will be. Talbot's. And the size, hopefully the size is there. Oh, 10. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, these are called the crop. I want to see. Yeah, they come up. Well, they're real close. The ankle and the crop are real close. These are real close. Now, however, somebody that wears a size 10 may, you know, and most people are taller than me, these would come up a little bit more. Yeah, it'd be about, you know, above where, you know, an ankle pant would be, but for sure longer than uh, Capri. Um, these are, um, these, okay, these are a little bit different. I, I was going to laugh because I had one. A pair of Levi's on the thrift haul video yesterday, and they were the 721, I think, uh, high-rise skinny or something like that, but they were distressed, and I had mentioned that I had sold a pair like a week ago or something like that I had listed, but these are the 311 shaping skinny, but they're a size 33 women's. 
The ones I had yesterday was a 33 too, I think. You know, 30, size 33. The ones that sold were like a 34. And, um, you know, that's one thing. Uh, this is kind of a neat uh, something to... Um, little fun fact about clothing and I didn't I didn't ever just think to look when you when you have a pair of pants and sometimes it's hard to tell if they're men or women's most of the time men's you know obviously will have like size um like 32 times 34 you know they'll have that but some men's jeans don't they'll only have the waist size it might be a 32 well then you know women's plus size like those levi's are a 32 one great thing that you can think um to check is and i don't know how come i didn't think of it because i already knew it but i just didn't think when i was questioning men or women's women's always have really short pockets men's have long pockets because i was thinking about that quite a long time ago like when i was I uh, put my keys in my pocket and I, some of my jeans, they're super duper tiny. There's hardly even room for it to stay in there. And it kind of is frustrating. And I was thinking, you know, men's, they have these great deep pockets. I mean, it feels like they come down to here, but they don't. They, you know, they're about, but they are. A lot of times they're about down to here. These right here, that's, that's as far as I can get my finger in it. That means they only come to about right, right, right there. But that's just a little fun fact, you know, when you're looking at pants and you're kind of not sure if it's a pair of men's or women's uh, pants. Now, that might not always be the rule on every single brand, but for the most part, you know, because I heard another um, thrifter mention it on um, one of the videos that they had up another thrifter that I check out and watch. But anyhow, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, leave some comments. Um, I enjoy the comments. And um, if you'd like, you can subscribe. And if you could push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Have a great day. Thank you.